Hello, this is the Teenage Sports Guru. This is going to be my last video for the night. And this is a big, big issue for me in the NHL. And after the 2004 and 2005 lockout down season, they made this rule for the Europeans, in my opinion, called the instigator. This basically means if a star player gets hit by a freaking little, you know, prick weasel, whatever you want to call him, like Brad Marchand hits a guy like, I don't know, let's say, Cindy Crosby. He takes a good run at him. What happens is, let's say a guy like... Just say James Neal were to stick up for Crosby and come and hit Marshawn and challenge him to a fight or start beating on him. He would get an automatic two minute penalty called an instigator. And it can also be a game misconduct or a five minute major, which causes players not wanting to do that, not wanting to stick up for their players because they'll screw their team and make them have to go on a five minute penalty kill or something like that. So, but my opinion on this matter is I think the instigator is retarded. You wanna know why? Because you got guys getting hit by cheap little fucks like Brad Marchand, and fucking P.K. Subban, fucking, there's a lot of guys I can list that take shots at big star players, and guys cannot stick up for them. Teenage cannot stick up for those star players because of this rule. And there are plenty of players getting cheap shots that they end up getting long-term uh, concussions, long-term injuries, and they're out of the game. You know what? Suspending them and finding them, it's all right. But who the hell cares? For a guy like Marchand, a suspension is like a vacation to him. And a find is like something you leave his ass with. Okay? That's what I'm going to say. If you get a guy like Clinton Moore to go and beat the shit out of Brad Marchand after he did something stupid like hit a star player. Wanna know what happens? More than likely, he will think twice before he takes another shot at another player on that team. And you wanna know what? Remember that line brawl in Toronto against Buffalo in the preseason because John Scott tried to jump Bill Kessel? I'm going to tell you one thing, if that was fucking Lane Gretzky and a guy um, took a shot on him, he tried to do something like that, Marty McSorley would be all over his ass. And I can tell you one thing, remember Don King, or I forget his name, it was some dude that played for the Maple Leafs and hit, um, basically knocked out Lane Gretzky. I, I'm telling you, the reason why Pat Burns didn't play him ever again is because if he went back out onto that ice, Marty McSorley and the rest of the Edmonton Oilers would be all over him. That's something I would like to see taken out of hockey. Because I guarantee you, you do that, you decrease your injuries by 90% because those fucking cheat shot players that like to do that, like Brad Marchand, and I could name a lot of them, and you know, they smile afterwards, you know, during the penalty, like, no, like, oh, no big deal, you know what I mean? I gotta go for an in-person hearing with, you know, Brandy Chan. I might get 10 games, who cares? It's just a big case for me, like, you know what I mean? Screw them. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you one thing. Here's my honest opinion. Hey, you can suspend them all they want, all you want. You can find them all you want. But in the end of the day, you want to know what's going to happen? Shit. Because they're just going to go out and do it again. 
if you take out the instigator, I'm telling you right now, Gary Detton, and all the people, the NHLPA, the Board of Governors, if you were to take out this freaking piece of shit rule, take it out, I guarantee you respect would be brought back to hockey. Especially in the NHL. I fucking hate seeing Europeans just skating around like they own the fucking ice, you know, taking shots at anybody they want. Nothing happens to them except, like, you know, maybe a suspension, a fine, or a penalty. That ain't gonna do shit. Okay, a thick, a thickin' this to the eye, on the black guy, fat lip, that's gonna do something. That's gonna, that's gonna tell this player, you're not gonna do this again, or you're gonna get your ass kicked. Now, here's what I'm gonna say to the people that uh, disagree that this girl should be in the game. Here's what I'm gonna say to you. I respect your opinion. I respect that, right? I know you don't like seeing hockey, fights in hockey. But here's the thing. If now let's take it into a real life situation. If a guy were to go and hit your wife, hit your wife, give her a cut, a concussion, anything, what would you do? Tell me, what would you do? There's the odd guy that would call the cops. But, 90% of those guys would go and beat the living shit out of that guy, right? This is the same concept when you're getting in the hockey. That player is your life. You gotta protect you got to love, protect them, you got to share the puck with them, you got to try to play with them. But your job, when you're a tough guy, if you're a guy like Clinton Moore, George Peros, um, many guys that are tough guys in the NHL, Eric Delonge, Paul Bissonnette, a lot of those guys, you know what you do? You protect your star players. And you're... Taking away the enforcer's role, the tough guy's role in the game, it's becoming a young man's game, and I don't like that, because I was brought up in the NHL that if you fucked with the guy, you had to deal with the guy. So, you know what I mean? If you want to keep the instigator in, have all these Europeans and so-called you know, players that want nothing but good for the game and, you know, take cheap shots at players, be my guest. But if you want my honest opinion, take out the instigator, put respect back in the hockey, then that's when you'll get a game that everybody wants to watch. And by the way, you know Crosby when he got hit by David Steckel? That may have been an accident, which it was in my opinion. But if the instigator wasn't in, I would guarantee you, accident or not, that guy has somebody on him. That guy's gonna get hit by somebody. Now, if you disagree with me, go ahead. But if you want your star players to be protected, Take this rule out, bring back old time hockey, and while you're at it, take the fucking skills competition, aka the shootout out too, and make it a long overtime, and if the overtime, if nobody scores in it, go to, like, uh, just say it's a tie or something, because even though the shootout may be entertaining, that's for the all-star game. That's my opinion there. If you agree with me on either of these topics, like, be sure to subscribe and be sure to share this video. Spread the love about my new channel. I am going to go. Peace out. This is the uh, Teenage Sports Guru. Peace out. Until next time, knuckleheads. Have a good day night and be sure to have fun watching my videos you know what i mean subscribe share like and favorite get my channel promoted you know what i'm saying and if you want i will shout you out if you know what i'm saying 
give me some subscription, you know, get me some subscribers, okay? Alright, okay. Until, until next time, Knuckleheads, this is the, the Teenage Sports Guru. I am out.